Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Teach Me Something. Oh my god, I want to learn something. Daddy. Today I'll be showing you the math of drunk swing, also known as Dilla swing, formerly known as triplet swing, septuplet swing, or quintuplet swing. Let's get started. They are a mathematical way of calculating the weird swing in grooves. You can do much stranger things rhythmically with these concepts and still have it make sense. The idea that repetition legitimizes only strengthens this concept. So what does it sound like? It sounds like a drummer is playing with a drunk or sloppy feel, but still with some sort of precision. Swing styles such as these can add a lot of flavor to beats or instrument rhythms. It's often heard in Jay Dilla's hip hop beats, neo soul music, beat music, future beats and more. It's a way of subdividing notes when you're creating a groove. You can get almost offbeat sounding ideas to work and make sense using this idea. You simply create a subdivision, an odd number is what you want to go for because an even number already divides. So three, seven, nine, you can even do 11, 13. I haven't heard of anyone doing that, but maybe we'll save that for another video. I'm gonna put in some drum samples real quick and then I'm just gonna draw out a simple little drum beat. I'm just gonna take sounds from my hip hop sound kit. If you'd like to purchase that, it's uh, on sale down below in the description. Okay, then I'm gonna start drawing in some uh, drum notes. Yep, just drawing in some eighth notes here. All right, so we got our simple little drum loop here. Now, um, I think we all have the same concern here. It sounds fucking boring. The timing sounds fucking boring. It sounds all right. Drum, drum beat sounds all right but um, sounds boring. So um, this is how we're gonna fix this. We're gonna calculate some different swing measurements and we're gonna try them out here. All right, so this is just a regular quadruple groove. Everything is on grid. Now we're gonna try a triplet grid. Okay, now for this triplet one, we can do this one pretty easily. Essentially, we're gonna take the space of one note and fit three notes in it. So to do this in Ableton, I'm gonna switch to triplet grid. You can press control three. As you can see here, I could swing it a little bit extra here and uh, it makes more sense to do it on the upbeats. You can do it on any beat you want though. All right, so I moved some things around on the triplet grid there. And as you can see, there's much more uh, flavor to that drum groove. There's subdivisions between the normal fourths. It's subdivided by threes. Now let's try the quintuplet grid. This is a little bit more complicated because Ableton does not have a grid in here for us already. So we have to create our own. So I'm going to show you guys a little technique in order to create your own quintuplet or septuplet grid. Essentially it's the same technique, you just move the number up according to the number you're trying to subdivide by. Okay, so for this one, this one's a little more complicated. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create some ghost notes down here and they're, they're going to be muted. So I'm going to take six notes down here. There, uh, you select them all and there, there's a little handle here if you, if you guys can see. See my hand pointing at the screen. There's a, little, there's a little handle here, and you move it to, to the space where there would normally be four notes. See that? And you guys are probably wondering why would we want this. Um, these are going to be our guide markers, so we're just going to duplicate this a bunch of times. This is going to be our quintuplet guide marker here. And we're going to want to move our notes according to this grid here, this uh, fake grid we just made. You can either move, move them forward or backward, depending on uh, where you're going for. Essentially, you're going to want to move your hi-hats to fit this ghost grid we created and you're going to want to put them in a ratio that stays the same throughout so in this case we're going to do a three to two ratio it can also look and sound like this too all right and um now let's try the septuplet. Essentially we're doing the same thing. We're gonna stretch the space of seven notes within the space of four notes. And then we're gonna use that as a guidebook. Yeah, a guidebook. We're gonna use that as a guidebook for our, um, our subdividing adventures. I'm gonna draw eight notes. That way I get the handle at the seventh note here. And I'm gonna move that handle down to the space of the fourth note. So then it should look like that. There should be the space of seven notes within the space of uh, one bar. And then this one you can do We'll do a four to three ratio, so um, every fourth or third note. You can you can play around with it though. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of different possibilities here. And there's an adjusted groove for the septuplets. 
You can get much more creative with it though. Like you have like an early snare or something. And then you could add more stuff to it. Make it even funkier. Like some sort of percussion would be good with this one. I recorded some percussion there. Made the drum beat less ass. Just remember you guys can be creative with it using different drum hits and different velocities. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys learned something. It can be very useful to learn how to subdivide grooves. These methods of calculating groove can be very useful in hip hop, dubstep, garage, and more. Make sure to check out my Patreon if you guys haven't. You can get private lessons from me for as low as $20. I'm also giving out a massive pack of acapellas I made myself. Over a hundred, only five dollars on my Patreon. Just uh, patreon.com slash weaverbeats. Uh, it's one of the first posts up there. Only requires five dollars to unlock it. So snag that if you like vocals or deals. Check out my Twitch if you haven't. I finally decided on a streaming schedule. I'll be streaming games on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, roughly around 5 p.m. PST. I also stream my production every Friday on YouTube. So make sure to check that out if you haven't. Links for all this stuff is down in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Hope I explain this well.